In this video, I will be demonstrating how I went about performing phaco emulsification in a hard mogagnian cataract. Initially, the steps are pretty routine. I perform my 2.8 mm incision and two side port incisions. I then stain the capsule with tripan blue under air and expel both the air and the tripan blue with viscoelastic OVD that is. Then with a bent cystitome I go ahead and perform my rexis as expected. There is a gush of uh, liquid cortex I just wash out a bit and then place HPMC within the anterior chamber taking care to flatten the anterior capsule. Then carefully engaging the underside of the capsule I go ahead to complete the rexus. You could always use a forceps as well but I am not exactly having any problem with the cystitome and I make sure that I complete the rexus. As you can see there is still a tag left which I complete with the uthrata forceps. And look at the arsenal of uh, sharp choppers I have on hand. I look at all of them and then choose the best. This is almost a 2 millimeter, very sharp stout chopper and with my phaco probe in my right hand and the sharp chopper in my left hand I perform the woodcutter's chopping technique wherein I go with continuous phaco within the center of the nucleus go with the sharp chopper at the mid periphery dig deep turn on the phaco power come towards the chopper and laterally separate you can see if you do this boldly you can fragment the uh, nucleus pretty easily. This is a pretty hard nucleus. I am almost at 80 to 85 uh, percent phaco power going in a continuous mode and performing my uh, woodcutter's technique. See and observe how easy it is to stabilize this mo highly mobile hard nucleus with this technique. Once done, it's very easy to uh, emulsify all these fragments. I'm still at continuous power. I don't change any of the parameters. Uh, I could remove my sharp chopper and substitute with the blunt sensky, but I haven't done that. And you can see how stable the chamber is. There is no surge whatsoever. A little tiny bit of uh, nuclear fragments I uh, emulsify and then go in with my bimanual because there is some tiny bit left. Ah, there it is. Once removed, I can safely come out. There is hardly, there is no cortex. Just polishing a bit of the capsule then under HPMC I go ahead and inject a single piece foldable IO within the back cornea is crystal clear and it remains so postoperatively as well After placing the IOL well within the bag, I remove all the HPMC from within the chamber. I go ahead and place my intracameral antibiotic and hydrate the wounds. Thank you.